Hello, I'm John Peters from Heal Planning and welcome to another appeal case study video. In this video, we look at a recent appeal that was submitted to the Planning Inspectorate against the decision issued by Decorum Borough Council for a landscaping to rear garden and retaining wall. Decorum Borough Council refused this application on the 1st of April after originally validating it on the 2nd of December. Their reasons were stated as the raised platforms constructed to the rear of the application property result in a significant loss of privacy to neighbouring properties and their private amenity spaces. In addition, given their height, size, form, design and elevated position, the terraces are visually intrusive and overbearing to the rear garden areas of surrounding properties, particularly number 134 and heartful to the character and appearance of the application site and wider area. The appeal statement for this case that's been shown now was produced specifically to overcome these refusal reasons issued by Decorum Borough Council for this application. As with many of these types of refusals, the reasons are very subjective and as such require a comprehensive and robust detailed appeal statement. Never underestimate the level of detail needed, covering policies both locally and nationally, and where possible, bringing other approvals and appeals into the argument. I will explain later in more detail what and how to achieve this. The Planning Inspectorate visited the site on the 25th of July and issued a decision on the 5th of August. We're pleased to share that the appeal was successful as detailed in the Planning Inspector's report. If you'd like a free no obligation consultation with myself or one of our planning appeal assessment specialist, telephone 01743 369 911 or email appeals at planningappealsuk.com. This planning appeal was classed as a householder appeal and dealt with by way of written representation. What this means is the appeal has 12 weeks from the refusal date to be submitted to the planning inspectorate. Take the decision out of the local authority's control and to be decided by an independent planning inspector. No further information or evidence can be submitted after that date, so it is vitally imperative that the appeal statement is comprehensive, robust and with sufficient detail and argument to overcome the refusal reasons that the local authority have used to refuse the application. As you saw, our planning statements are just that, comprehensive, robust and you cannot underestimate the importance of the amount of detail in the appeal statement. It is your last chance to convince the planning inspectorate why your appeal should be approved. The local authority does not have the right to respond to householder appeal statements. They are reliant on the documents published and the refusal reasons stated in their decision notice. No other parties can provide additional argument at this stage either and they are also reliant in what was submitted as part of the appeal. This prevents NIMBYs from motorising mass objections and introducing prejudicial information to the case at a late stage. We at Hill Planning have a very structured approach to appealing householder planning of refusals. This starts initially with our planning team working through the officer's delegated report. This is the report the planning officer created and used to come to the decisions to refuse the application in the first place. Taking apart section by section, anything negative and undermining the planning officer's thought process wherever possible. Where policies have been mentioned, we deep dive into each policy, ensuring that each policy has been represented correctly. It is often found that misrepresented policies, when used, have actually been originally produced for an alternative reasons, and in fact does not say what the officer was referring it did. This needs to be shown and demonstrated, helping undermine the credibility of the refusal. The next stage in our process is dealing with the legally binding decision notice that was issued by the local authority. Many people, when they receive a refusal notice, they attempt to re-engage with the planning officer to try and address and clarify the reasons used for refusal. Unfortunately, the local authority cannot legally change the decision once it's been issued, and the options available are simply to either reapply with a revised application taking into account the refusal reasons or appeal to the planning inspectorate. Remember the clock is ticking for an appeal from the date the decision was issued. So if you are minded to appeal, it is important to start the process as soon as possible. Working through the decision notice can cause some duplication, but that's okay as it's underlining to the inspector the reasons why the application should have been approved. Also, we bring both local and national supporting policies into play 
and detailed reasonings as to why the findings of the planning officer were wrong. And in fact, this development is normally perfectly acceptable. Our approach for producing appeal documents that go into great detail of work throughout the refusal reasons, officers' reports and policies in detail, and to supply supporting cases where the inspectorate has granted uh, appeals is absolutely invaluable. This gives our client you your best chance of success. Admittedly, it does take longer to produce an appeal to this level of detail and will increase the cost slightly by going into that level of detail. But it is that attention to detail that is absolutely paramount. As an organisation, Heal Planning is one of the leading appeal specialists with both dedicated in-house planning and legal teams, whose job it is to win your case. Both these skill sets are invaluable to produce a robust and compelling case to gain a win. You won't find many organisations in our industry that have both these skill sets, a planning and a legal team, and is most definitely the reason why we have the success rate we do. Without appealing your planning refusal, you cannot gain the permission you are seeking. Your appeal will go to the Planning Inspectorate. They're a government-based organisation that is appointed by the Secretary of State to handle all types of planning appeals. Based out of Bristol and covering England and Wales, the Planning Inspectorate gives you a chance of success to gain that permission you are seeking and taking the decision process away from your local authority's planning officer. You'll find a host of videos about various types of planning appeals and services we offer on our website. If you'd like a free no obligation consultation with myself or a member of our team, please call us on 01743 369 911 or email appeals at planningappealsuk.com and give your appeal its best chance of success. Thank you for watching and we look forward to speaking with you soon.